Well, we've been working on this project for a very long time, almost close to five years. And so we are very excited to see it finally come to life. Um, we have worked really closely with the Miracle League of Tyler and the community to make sure that we get this park in a location where it's going to be utilized the most and where the people that are, or the children that are playing on this field also feel included. Um, we went back and forth with some locations years ago and Faulkner Park seemed like the perfect location for this field. Um, we're really excited just to be able to offer such an incredible place for children to come play and it be completely all inclusive. Um, I think it's going to be definitely one of a kind and so much of our community is going to be able to enjoy it. And what are you most looking forward to with the completion of this project? Obviously that's in the future because we haven't started construction, but once everything is said and done, what, what are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to going out and watching the kids play. Um, I think that's going to be very um, exciting to be able to see this big dream that a lot of people made happen, you know, come to life and be able to watch these children and smiling and laughing and, and being able to play right next to their siblings on another field. What has the timeline of this whole project looked like from conception all the way to where we are today? So talks of the Miracle League field was started in 2019. COVID hit, kind of took us all back a few years, you know. Um, we started up again in 2022. Um, and then from there, we have just tried to keep the momentum going on the city side and on the Miracle League of Tyler side. Between the city and Miracle League, how does that partnership work? How do y'all, uh, or how have y'all worked together up until now to get this project rolling. Oh yeah, I think that we we both obviously want the same thing um, and we are very passionate about this project and we're really excited about this project. So working with the Miracle League of Tyler has been extremely easy and we are extremely grateful for them and all that they have done um, and they're gonna continue to do in our community. So in terms of the city's involvement in the project, what are the responsibilities? So the Miracle, League one, the Miracle League field, once it's built, will be completely turned over to the city of Tyler Parks Department. We will continue to maintain it. Um, the dugouts, the field, um, the restrooms, um, until there's some major capital expense of some sort, then we'll go back to the Miracle League of Tyler and see what that looks like at that time. How does the Miracle League ballpark align with the city of Tyler's um, quality of life mission? Yeah, so Southside Park is an all-inclusive park and um, you know, the, the ball field will just kind of integrate right into that system. We are hopeful that in the future that every park will have some sort of all-inclusive play equipment or um, field in it because we think that that's really important in our community to move forward with. And this is just the start. We hope that there is much more to come. We are just really excited. We're grateful for the donations. We're grateful for our community stepping up and helping make this project happen. We're grateful for the Miracle League of Tyler, and we cannot wait for the groundbreaking and for this construction to start.